right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the better boxers in this division. Certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the highlights, right? You look at him landing that jab, and it's almost picture perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy, because you've spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstar. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like, folding a slice of pizza in half, you know? <laughs> Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, it's over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 174 pounds. Fighting out of Hoboken, New Jersey, Brad Master. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to... Oh, oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Straight right hand now just misses. Blocks that strike. Got the single collar tie. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Just missed with the left there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. And that left hook landed on the button. 
Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Beautiful right hook counter. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. He's got the turtle in that kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just over three minutes to go now. Good stick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Slips. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, big knee. Knee to the body. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your face. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Big elbow. He blocks the shot. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Just out of range with that left hook. Slips. into these big leg kicks. Big kick lands. Oh, nice right hand, John. Block that kick to the body. Right. Can't take too many of those strikes. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting. Oh, oh. Right there. oh no! Oh, big left! Checks the right kick. What a round. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponents on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Second round underway. Big punch man for the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing.
standing. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down for the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Oh, big punch land. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, and making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Back and forth we go! Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. You are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter. You're potentially playing with five. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on him. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after a Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice. And then he lands a nice over. Nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, a huge block there. Big kick lands. Nice uppercut. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Block there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's done. He's done. Visibly limping here. Seconds left. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He gets to a spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts oh. to let the knee. Unbelievable. What a round. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going.
Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the... Oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! What a performance! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop in this contest. At five seconds of round number three, we play the winner by... Shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Quick. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.